back to my channel. In this Sky Factory 4 video, it's episode 2 of the series, I'm joining you from the hot tub I built last time, which if you haven't seen the last episode, go check it out on this very beautiful day, and we're gonna keep making our Sky Factory. So, this very nice jacuzzi, totally definitely not an infinite water source, is something that we're going to be using today because we're going to be getting lava and making a cobblestone generator. Yes, a cobblestone generator. So I won't have to get a bunch of cobblestone by making like 20 trees. So what we need is six cobblestone, two buckets, and uh, glass. So, one thing we already have, if I can find it, is one bucket, which we can easily get water. So, that's already one thing done. But we need a bucket of lava. So, to get lava, what we need to do is make a cauldron and put it above the torch. So, I'm going to do that. Right, I'm going to put a slab on this right here. So, I don't know if you can really see, but if you put cobblestone in this now, it will become lava. But to pick it up, I'm going to need another clay bucket. So, I'm just going to do that really quickly. Okay, so I got my second clay bucket. And now what I think we're going to do is get sand, because for glass we need sand. So as all the other materials, we need a sapling for it. So a sand sapling can be made by petrified sapling with sand acorns around it. To get sand acorns, we just crush gravel acorns. So. I don't not I don't have enough gravel acorns, so okay, so I have eight gravel acorns and then I need a petrified sapling. So there. Now I crush them over here. Okay, there's water in here. Okay, I got enough. Now I got sand, so now, my sand sapling, wait, I don't need sand sapling, I need sand. Okay, so now with my one piece of sand, I'm going to smelt it so I can get some glass. Boom. Okay, so I have the glass, I have the water, and I have the bucket for the lava. So now, a lot of cobblestone. So I need six cobblestone, and then to fill the cauldron to get lava, I also need four cobblestone. So that's a total of ten cobblestone, so I need 40 acorns. Okay, so now I'm going to go get some cobblestone by getting trees, and when I have enough, I'll come back. Okay, so I just crafted all the cobblestone I'm going to need, and now I'm going to go get some lava. To make lava, I have to put a cauldron over a torch and then put four cobblestone in it. So I just have to replace this because it has water in it right now. And then I'm going to make some cobblestone. Or, I'm sorry, I'm going to use my cobblestone to make the lava. Oh, it's on fire. Shoot. <laughs> Let me put that out. Let me just get the lava. And there we go. So now, with the lava, I can craft the cobblestone generator. So... With this, it'll generate cobblestone. Um, I don't know how fast it is because it's not very like expensive and it doesn't take any power. But from what I understand, it'll make it into a. Um, it'll put all of its cobblestone into an inventory next to it. So if I just leave that running when I'm like just doing episodes or just like doing stuff off camera, I think I'll end up with a lot of cobblestone. But I mean, let's see how much I get. So. I'm going to set it up 
Um, probably gonna set it up. Hmm. Should probably set it up near the side over here. And then I think I'm gonna get like a chest to put above it. So let's see what I have options for storage. Okay, so I found this wooden crate, which is pretty cheap, and I think it holds a lot, so I'm going to try that out and see what it does. I think that if I place this above it, well, yeah, okay, so it starts putting cobblestone in it. Oh, it gave me cobblestone for right clicking on it. That's cool. So, I think we're going to have a lot of cobblestone. Put in the comments how much cobblestone you think we're going to have by um, episode 4. Because this can hold 4.1k cobblestone, and that thing makes it pretty fast. Okay, so I think for my next steps, I'm going to keep going on my like quests and get this next sapling called the Cottonwood Sapling. Which I think you have to craft with uh, a jungle sapling, bone meal, and vine. Okay, so to get vines, I think I need, to get vines, I need a drawing rack on a, oh, a jungle sapling. Okay, so I just need ju two jungle saplings. So how do I get that? It is a clay sapling in mud in a cauldron. Okay, I think that's doable, but how do I get mud? Oh, it's just dirt and water. Okay, you can do that. It's pretty easy. Okay, so I just grew a tree and got the leaves with wooden shears, and now I'm doing that thing that I talked about in the first video, where if you put the leaves in mud, it gives you four grass, but for four mud, it's only one dirt, so I just got, like, a lot of good grass. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I ended with 42 dirt. Um, I think it's time for me to get the jungle saplings. So to do that, it is... Four, it's dirt and water with clay saplings. So, yeah, okay. So, since I already have mud in my cauldron from when I was doing the grass trick, I think if I just put in clay saplings in there, yeah, I got jungle saplings. Okay. So, with these, I can craft it, but I need to dry one. Okay, I already have five stacks of cobblestone. That is crazy. Okay, so I got my vines, and now with the bone meal I got from the my bone saplings, I can craft cottonwood. Let's go. This sapling gives me string, which there are some advancements on string, but it's not really very useful for now, so I'm just going to put it in my chest. I don't really need it. Okay, so it looks like to progress higher into like iron and tin and stuff, I need a tinker's smeltery to make those saplings. So I think that'll be my goal for next video because that will also help later and it does duplication of ore. So that will be nice. Okay, yeah, so next episode is probably gonna be focusing on Tinker's Construct, so watch out for that. But we did do a lot this episode too, so that's pretty good. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.